Now, a lot of people raise this question that India is the land of uh, the Khajuraho temples and the Kama Sutra. So, why does Valentine's Day go against Indian culture? Well, I'd say uh, such people, obviously, who haven't uh, read any of the Kama Shastra works in detail, have a very flawed understanding of uh, Kama Sutra and the Kama Shastra. Uh, Kama Sutra India is not just about sex, it's also about a lot of other things. For example, it's about love, it's about attachment, it's about conduct in society, it's about common celebrations, it's about 64 arts. It's about a lot of other things. It's actually about uh, urban living and only a small part of it is about sex as uh, Andy Haskar, the diplomat who recently translated Kama Sutra into English has said. The Kama Sutra and the Anangarana describe four types of love. The best kind of preeti or love is what is called Sahaja or Naisargiki or Abhimaniki, which is love without any common interest, which is love without any material benefits. And this is considered the best form of love. The second form of love, as they say, is what is called Abhyasiki Preeti or love of common interest, love which builds on common interest. For example, in the olden days, hunting or a game of chess or uh, music or poetry or literature. The third type of love, Vishayatmika or Vishayaja Preeti, which is what grows by material benefits. For example, gifting somebody jewelry or flowers, the love which grows. And so you can probably consider the celebration of Valentine's Day that's limited to just gifting things today is probably Vishayaja or Vishayatmika Preeti. And the fourth kind of love which these texts describe is called Sampratyatmika or uh, Sama Preeti, which is based on mutual trust and mutual belief. So it's not that, uh, well, the, the Indian definition of love is much more wider than what is uh, shown on Valentine's Day today.